What is going on fellas and welcome to team 30 of our 126 rebuild. Today we are doing Boston College as voted by the people. Remember that if you want your save for the next team, make sure you come through to the streams. We always host a poll and you never know, the next team we might do your team. I don't know. But Boston College coming in as a three star school, 88 overall, 88 offense and defense. Very solid, but good enough to win the ACC? I don't know, but that's what we're going to find out today. Wow, these guys aren't very good. All right, let's see what we got. Can I get a 70? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Athlete and a tight end. Let's just get all the fastest guys we can here. Come on, man. All of them are garbage. I don't want any of them. All right, we're not bad. B pluses across the board. Boston College is some hot trash. We just lost to the Snappy Turtles, mate. It's always the Snappy Turtles. Scott Prater looking good. Matt Chase not looking good. So James Brown and Scott Prater are the only two dudes on the entire board. We got a couple of low lock players here, though. Two quarterbacks. This one doesn't look good, but DT, I take that. Three quarterbacks. Defensive end, cornerback, outside linebacker. Okay. And we got two athletes. You know what? We'll take a tight end. We'll take a chance. Antoine Miller looking pretty damn good. And I don't know about this guy, but we'll take it. Okay, 78. I'll definitely be coming back to Paul Mullins and Travis Quinn for that matter. And we need one of these quarterbacks as well. So hopefully one of them goes up. Let's take Andrew Brown. because He looks pretty dang good. And we'll take you and we'll take you. All right, let's go. All right, they all got scholarships. So you get a scholarship. Travis Quinn gets a scholarship. Paul Mullins gets a scholarship. This guy does too. And let's give the tight end a little something down here. All of you. Every single one of you. All right, lead on Prater still lead on this guy all right look at this the only problem is i don't think we went after a quarterback did we i guess we'll join the late race for this quarterback got the car got two three cornerbacks scott prater guard tight end all right wow two star recruits no wonder nobody's going after you i'll take a punter but that's our kicker and punter out the way sophomore there we go we could use that see if this quarterback's any good wayne dykes I'll take that, even though he won't be around. And let's just take the kicker and the punter then. Take the kicker, take the punter. I don't know, it might be a little bit too late in the season, but we'll see what happens. Ah, man, we gotta get that outside linebacker. We need that guy. Seven and six, we got a target to win per year or nine, so that's a yikes. Okay, so we got a lot of people leaving. We got two quarterbacks leaving, middle linebacker, and we're losing a couple of 90 overalls, so that's never a good thing, but you know what? If a 68 overall wants to leave, then I'm not gonna complain. All right, did we get anybody? No, we did not. No, we did not. What does our class look like? Athletes, cornerbacks, we don't have a quarterback. Oh, we need this poor Mullins guy. We need so many of these people. This guy's got a 12,000 lead. How haven't you committed, bro? Watch us get none of these people right here. Watch us get none. That's probably the greatest off-season recruiting I've ever had. That's a lot of good players right there. Sign the number one class. All right, Boston College off to a pretty hot start there. Wow, we did not sign one five-star, but we got 14 four-stars and seven three-stars, which gets us the number one class in the nation. All right, let's jump into season two. All right, fresh off the number one class. Great cornerback. I'll take this guy even though he looks garbage. Okay, athlete, defensive tackle. We're starting to get somewhere. JJ Walker doesn't look bad. Let's go grab some O-linemen before I forget. Just grab as many of these as we can. Come on, where's the gems at? No gems. Wow, we went down so much. We were an 88 last year. We're down to an 83. I mean, and that's after signing the best class as well. So I don't know, man. I'll drop a couple hundred into this guy. And we got to go after some alignment because that's what we desperately need. Give me a good bonus, man. 205, I'll take that. 210, I'll take that. Got the fullback. No, no, really none of the O-linemen. I got the lead on the one guy I don't care about. Athlete, I guess I'll take that. I'll take a defensive end. There's a five-star athlete down here. Drew Gibson. Outside linebacker. Man, we're going to have so many defensive ends. This guard looks good. Robert Jones. You got this one guy, Ryan Mitchell, who looks like a beast. All right, not bad. All of these guys are like low lock. Wow, look at these guys. This guy's a quarterback. What's his awareness though? I'll take him though. Guard, tackle, I'll take this guard as well. Dwayne Jackson and Chad Romero, I really want to get those guys too. Definitely want to get Drew Gibson, 80 overall quarterback. I want to get Cody Drew as well. He looks good. They need scholarships as well. That's the only way this is going to work. Okay, we'll rock with that. All right, cornerback, quarterback, right guard. 
And we got Will Smith, the fullback. So hopefully when we go in, because we had less points on a lot of people, hopefully we can still come out with some good people. Lead on him. Lead on him. Dwayne Jackson. Nice. Nice. So we're pretty much going to get everybody that we want right now. Ooh, 45 overall. I'll take it. All right. So we're going to get a strong safety, hopefully. You're straight garbage. And you're, you're amazing. You're just an absolute freak. All right. Let's just go to the end of the year. I'm liking what I'm seeing, apart from that fat loss just there. Wow, look at that class. Right tackle, right end, quarterback, left end, right tackle, outside linebacker, left guard, and running back? 80 overall running back? Man, that's a nice class right there. And we're ranked 25th in the nation. And check it out. 7-6 and six to 10-3, and three, always maintaining that positive record. Players leaving. AJ Dillon is trying to leave. Yeah, right. Nice try, my guy. And then Hamp Cheevers is going to go in round one. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to lose him. Look at this class, bud. Four offensive linemen, fullback, outside linebacker, defensive ends. This team is in a good spot, though. Sign a top 10 class. All right, the number eight class in the nation. One five star, nine four star. So that's two years in a row that we've been in the top 10. We lose a lot of bloody seniors this year. So if last year we went down, we're going to go up this year and then drop down again. Yesterday, I remember. So we need a strong safety, clearly, because there's so many bloody here. So I guess we also need outside linebackers, I'm pretty sure. Pat Maynard. Ooh, I like that guy a lot. Guess we'll go Grant Jones and then Seth Thomas. Lee on him give me some of these strong safeties i'll stick on him we got ryan johnson as well now outside linebackers we got one of them and he's not that good we got a quarterback fly through this get this bad boy out the way riley reed's brother again joel reed hmm riley reed got a lot of brothers on the squad all right not bad i'll take 73 69 grab some of these outside linebackers what is going on richard nixon 91 throw power 91 carrying hello okay no worries all right we'll go after richard nixon i am not a crook <laughs> all right let's get it ncaa player of the week i'll take it all right let's see if richard nixon is interested in joining the squad ah grant jones we dropped down on him cornerback we're dropping down what is going on we got the lead on Richard Nixon so it looks like he's in the bag Joel Reed as well we got Cody Cruz all right there goes Richard Nixon the 81 overall wide receiver three outside linebackers a right guard and a right tackle so this isn't going to be a very good class but we got all the positions we needed let's see what else we can pick up I'll take anything at this point take a backup quarterback whatever Tim Gore where did these guys come from I don't remember adding them oh FSU damn it three Three point loss, man. Come on. All right, Kevin Kelly in the bag and some trash cans. Nice. We are about to be some hot trash in season four as well. Just want to point that out, fellas. Target swing for you was 9.4, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, there goes AJ Dillon. Could have redshirted him, but almost no point. We're losing a whole bunch of players, including Anthony Brown. That might have been one of the biggest classes of people leaving I've ever had. Who do we want? I'm going to go Tim Gore. I'm going all in balls to the wall on Tim Gore. And then you can get five points. So that means that the team is completely done already. Completely and utterly done. All right, so for those of you watching on YouTube, it is currently season four. Boston College took a bit of a slight decline because we lost a lot of our best players like AJ Dillon, etc. And now the team is completely done. We just need them to be in their ultimate form. Richard Nixon is the quarterback, the backup. We'll see how he does. Because the team is pretty much complete and we can't benefit by getting anything, we're going to put the computer on recruiting. We're going to simulate all the way through season four and just pretty much jump into season five. It's RNG at this point, boys. RNG. So Boston College is now A minus, A overall, and B plus defense. Is this team good enough to go to the Natty? Definitely not. But that 95 offense, pretty good. 90 defense. And the best part is we keep the team that we currently have. So after training results, we're probably going to have a 99 offense, probably about a 97 defense. But for now, the computer is going to be recruiting because we've got everything. Let's go ahead and simulate the rest of the season and see how we do. Damn, we're winning a lot of games. That's crazy. Another Russell Athletic Bowl? Come on, man. We never win our bowl game. That's crazy. I don't think we've won a bowl game. 
All right, so 10 and 3. We're kind of around that 10, 3, 9 and 4, 10 and 3 mark. We only won the bowl game one time, so that sucks. Let's see if Richard Nixon will be leaving the team. Oh, we got a brand new defensive coordinator, level 25. Let's go. David Bailey thinks he's leaving, but he's going to stay and get his degree. Jelani Galloway is also going to be staying to get his degree. And Derek Matthews is apparently going. Let me just lie to him. He's not biting on that. But at least we got our running back and wide receiver back. And Derek Matthews, I'm sorry. Go enjoy Eastern Carolina, East Carolina. Let's check out these training results. Patrol is a 99, 99 running back, 296 overall receivers. That's crazy because this guy was like a 67 in year one. Now he's a 99 or 96. Quarterback's good, cornerback DT. This is where the team drops down a little bit. Not too happy about that, but the main team is really solid. Oh, this is season five, by the way. Our offense is definitely gonna be a 99. I don't know what the defense is gonna be. I'm gonna take a guess and say 96 or 97, but the offense is on point. The defensive coordinator is really high. So let's see how we do, boys. All right, so Boston College starts out ranked 19th in the nation, which is a fantastic sign. A plus, A plus, and A plus. I projected 99 offense. Never mind. We skipped the whole 96, 97 defense. We are straight 99s. We got Duke, who we lost to last season, Virginia Tech. NCSU is a problem, FSU. But we play Clemson at home, so let's see what happens, man. Come on, we lost to Duke last year. Ah! Oh! Doesn't that just remind you of Michigan State? All right, so far we're undefeated, six and crow. All right, so we are ranked seven and we're actually on a five and O record. I mean, we're just an A plus. We should be railing these people. UL, Wake, VA Tech. All right, we are ranked fourth in the nation. I hope we don't choke to a crappy team because we have NCS, FSU and Clemson. So come on, let's just win. Let's win, go to the natty boys. Come on, we got two more hard games left. Oh, we lost to FSU by two points. If only we had home field advantage, we probably would have won. Yep, there goes the natty. A-plus Boston College probably going back to the Russell Athletic Bowl. Oh, we beat Clemson as well. We'll see what happens, man. RNG, it's all in your favor. Rank five take. Wow, we could make the natty, boys. We could still make the natty. We've got the advantage. We're dropping the most points in the nation right now. It's not over yet. So Texas doesn't have a game this week. We play BC, Bama plays Florida, and Iowa plays Ohio State. Well, first of all, we need to win this game. But our RNG gods, let's see how we go. All right, boys, let's see how we do. We're the better team in this. 40 to 16? Just walking over Miami like that? Wow, that's how it did feel though when we were doing Miami anyway. La La Davis out of Navy is gonna win the Heisman. We win the ACC championship. So we're automatically in fourth. If Bama wins and whoever Ohio State was versing wins, rank three, rank two. Let's go, baby, we made the natty. Oh my goodness. That is a good feeling. Yo, we actually did it. What happened? Let's go check out the top 25 right here. Uh, this is funny for a lot of reasons. As somebody just pointed out in chat, we are rebuilding Texas next and we're taking them on in the national championship. We also jumped from fifth to second. Florida smashed Bama and stayed at third. There was somebody else though, right? Who was fourth? Oh, Ohio State. Iowa beat Ohio State by seven points. If Ohio State won that game, they would be playing in the natty against Texas. But because of that, here we go, boys. So checking it out real quick. We are better in every area other than pass offense. Even Kirk is rocking with us for this one. And I forgot to even show you the depth chart. Our quarterback is Curtis Graham, 96 overall. Our running back is David Bailey, Drew Gibson, Titus Berry. Fullback is going to be a 79 overall junior in Will Smith. Wide receiver, Jelani Galloway, All-American. We also have Scott Prater, James Brown, and John Brown. So the Brown brothers at third and fourth. And then Richard Nixon down at six. That's hilarious. Tight end is going to be an 88. Offensive line is pretty mediocre, apart from our right tackle, who's 99. Defense is honestly pretty... Pretty bad. I'm not really showing you much other than a couple of really noticeable players like our middle linebacker. Couple of 90 overall cornerbacks. Strong safety is going to be a 92. He was a cornerback changed. Strong safety as well. Kick is going to be a 90 overall and punter is going to be 69 for the memes. Let's jump into this game boys. All right boyos. Oh, 
He's like, I can't get around that guy. I'm just going to truck his ass. Wow, our quarterback is so slow. Hello? I didn't think he'd be that slow. Let's go, Mullins. Big bad Mullins. He's going to take it back to the house. Mullins, let's go, baby. Pick six. No. No. No pick six for Mullins. All right. Can the offense get in the bloody end zone? Come on. They scored. Let's go. Come out to the left. I need blockers. Give me some blockers out to the left. Oh! Oh! Brown! Woo! That was actually a dope-ass play. You see that shit? Damn! I like that guy a lot. Oh, let's go, Prater. Nice, nice. Okay, that's a pretty good play right there. He broke some kind of record just then. 15 yards. The computer looks like they're making some moves. And they are in with 33 seconds to go. Alright, we don't even really need to do anything on this team. Like, they can get it done by themselves. I just kind of having fun with a 99 kick returner. Yes, we score. I'm pretty sure that should be GG right there. Let's see what happens. Alright, I trust the man coverage. Jump on Maxwell. Screenplay. We dropped the pick! Come on, man! Alright, let's run this bad boy out. It, it's game over. We just, we just scored again? Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, there goes yet another national championship. That's a school record, man. Six touchdowns in a game. I didn't check out the season stats. You know, I'm sure we can skip that for one time. Checking out the stats in the game. Curtis Graham, six touchdowns, one interception. He absolutely beasted out there today. Rushing it. David Bailey, 118. Pretty dang good. Receiving pretty evenly distributed. Six touchdowns, of course. Not bad at all. Look at that interception by Mullins. Paul Mullins, 71 yards, could not get the touchdown though, couldn't get the pick six. Oh well, I mean, still, very solid efforts. But those of you watching on YouTube, thank you so much. If you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your day is awesome. From me personally, I'm out. Peace. I don't know where you've been You're slurring all your words